Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to perform query string routing using an application load balancer in AWS. Let's start by navigating to the EC2 dashboard, then click on launch templates, then hit the create button. Give your launch template a name, select an AMI, then pick an instance type. Choose a key pair and a security group, then scroll down to the user data section. I'm going to copy paste a startup script that starts the HTTPD web server. It also copies the availability zone metadata into index.html. Hit create, then scroll down to the auto scaling section. Click on auto scaling groups, then hit create and give your auto scaling group a name. Select the launch template that we just created, then hit next. In the availability zone dropdown, I'm going to select US East 1A, B, and C, then hit next. Choose no load balancer for now, then click on next. For group size, I'm going to select two for desired, two for minimum, and five for maximum. I'm going to leave everything else to default, then hit create. Next, in the left menu, click on target groups, then hit create. Select instances for target type, then give your target group a name. I'm going to leave everything else to default, then hit next, followed by create. Next, click on load balancers, then hit the create button. Choose application load balancer, then give your load balancer a name. Scroll down to the network mapping section, then select US East 1A, 1B, and 1C. For security group, I'm going to select my web access security group that allows all traffic on port 80. For the listener on port 80, select the target group that we just created, then hit create. If you look at the state of your load balancer, it should now say provisioning. Next, scroll down to the auto scaling section, then go inside your auto scaling group. In the load balancing section, click on the edit button. Select the first checkbox, then choose your target group and hit update. Now, if you go back to your EC2 instances view, you should see two running instances that were created by our auto scaling group. Let's grab the public IP of our first instance, then paste it in a browser. As you can see, it's running in the US East 1A availability zone. Similarly, you can confirm that the second instance is running in the US East 1B availability zone. Let's go back to our application load balancer and check if the state has changed to active. Grab the DNS name URL and paste it in a browser. If you continue hitting refresh, you'll see that our application load balancer is balancing the load by switching between US East 1A and 1B. Next, go back to the EC2 instances view, then hit launch instance. Give your instance a name, select a key pair, then click on edit in the network settings. In the subnet dropdown, select a subnet in US East 1C availability zone. For security group, I'm going to select my web access security group, then scroll down to the user data section. Copy paste your user data, then hit launch instance. Grab the public IP of this instance and paste it in a browser to confirm that it's running in the US East 1C availability zone. In the left menu, click on target groups, then hit create. Give your target group a name, then hit next. Choose the instance that we just created, then click on include as pending below, then hit create. In the left menu, click on load balancers, then click on the listeners tab. Click on view slash edit rules, then click on the plus button. Click on insert rule, then select query string 
from the add condition dropdown. Here I'm creating a rule which says if key is equal to C in the query string, then forward the request to my target group 2. Hit save, then navigate to the URL of your application load balancer. Watch what happens when I add the query string of key equal to C to this URL. As expected, our application load balancer is now routing the request to the EC2 instance running on the US East 1C availability zone. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.